Hey guys, Thomas here, and today it's the early morning. It's stage four lockdown. Feeling a little sleepy, but there's a new Foxier F722. So yeah, I thought we'd make a quick video about what to expect with this flight controller, sort of where it sits in relation to last year's F722. Just sort of a quick overview video of what's up with them, what some of the new features are. So first of all, we have removed the ICM gyro. The basis for this was, is with all of our testing last year and looking at not just the Foxia flight controller, but a bunch of different flight controllers, a bunch of different tuning methods, the MP6000 consistently performed better for us. We got better tracking, we were able to cut the filtering more and drop latency. Just overall, it was better performing. We could get the ICM pretty close, but the MP6000 was always that little bit better. And also reliability from the factory of getting good gyros seemed to be better with the MP6000 gyro. So we've gotten rid of the ICM gyro, and as a result of that, we've got a bit more space on the board. So we've adjusted the layout a little bit. Now it's a little bit slimmer on a couple of the sides, which means that for some of those type builds, you can sort of tuck the wires in a bit better, get a bit better packaging. For me on my quads, it doesn't make much of a difference, but I can see on those other builds where that would be really, really critical. Either way, it's even a bit of rate reduction, uh, probably only a fraction of a gram, but you know, it's still something, it's good. The next feature change is actually something that I requested them to add to the board. It's something really specific, I think, to me and Crossfire users, but I think a lot of people will find really interesting, cool uses for it, and that is the new pass-through feature. Basically, what the pass-through is, is it's a short. It's two pads that are linked together, basically just a short. The whole reason for that is, is so you can treat it as sort of a connection point for two wires when you might say have a wire going from your receiver to your video transmitter, as is in my case, rather than having them connected directly to each other. And then if you have to say swap a receiver or swap a VTX, you have to cut through heat shrink and risk damaging components. You can just go straight to the flight controller. You've got two solder points for your input and output. And that basically means that if you do have to replace a receiver or a VTX, there's no cutting heat shrink. There's no risking damaging components. Just desolder straight from the flight controller and you can swap components a lot easier, a lot safer. And especially when you're working over fleets of three plus quads, it can really be a time saver. That's the reason why I wanted it added, but obviously there's heaps of uses for this because it is just a short, so for LEDs that might make wiring a bit easier. Really just sort of anything where you need to get two different components connected, but rather than connecting them directly to each other, you can go through the flight controller. It just makes the wiring a little bit tidier, a little bit easier. And that's sort of the basis of what the pass-through is. As far as flight performance is concerned, the new F722 is on par with last year's, especially if you're using the MP6000 on last year's compared to this year's F722. So if you're looking at going from last year's to this year's, you're realistically probably better off sticking with your current FC until that dies and then upgrading to this. However, if you are looking for a new flight controller or you're building a new quad or something, then that's where this is a really, really solid option. Okay, so that is the new Foxier F722. A really nice set of upgrades from last year's, still maintaining that really beautiful performance. We'll cut to some awesome flight footage now. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya!